having a cup of coffee with Oscar and uh, Taff. Yeah. Having a good time dolphin diving. Dolphin diving. <laughs> Golfing diving or dolphin? Do dolphin, yeah. Dolphin, yeah. Here they come. Yeah. Real curious. Uh, so you name any one of them Flipper? Or? They're all Flippers. They're all they? Flipper, yeah. I can't tell the difference. So. Oh, man, you got a lot of dolphins out there. Oh, yeah, I was in the middle of them. They, they were fun. They were around us for Mark and I uh, doing our own thing. And, here comes the dolphins, you know. They're so they weren't them. they weren't afraid of you at all then. No, no. They, uh, I, I think they used to see people. And, uh, you know, there's no predators to a dolphin really. So they, you know, they're pretty relaxed in the water. Yeah, sharks don't even attack no, dolphins, right? No, very rare. I mean, if it's a sick dolphin, yeah, but I mean, <laughs> I don't think you would get a shark trying to take out a dolphin, you know, because they're faster than a shark. Now, how many people mistake the dolphins as sharks because they come up with that fin? Well, with the fin. dorsal fin out of the water, you know, I mean, when I first saw it, actually I was in, on the top of the water, I <laughs> saw so, a dorsal fin like that coming towards me, so, oh. so I, I went under the water and I saw know, that it was, saw a, dolphin. It was a dolphin, I yeah. a bit more relaxed after that. Yeah. That's the only time I have worries with some of the places I do dive. Most of my diving is in the tropical waters, and um, so when I film it, you know, you always wear the sharks, but they seldom, very rarely, they bother you. However, you know, I've been in the water, hundreds of sharks, and um, you know, I think in India it's a bit like... Because you never know. You never know. But the thing is, um, you know, I'm comfortable in the water. The only place I don't like to be, like that shot there, you know. Yeah. Um, you don't know if it's a dolphin or a shark. Right. But um, I don't like being in open water on the surface like that with a lot of sharks around me. And I don't like being in what they call blue water, which is deep water with nothing around me. You know, I feel more comfortable when I'm in or near the coral, you know, like something I hang on to or try and hide and try not to. Because uh, there's no way you can. You know, compete against a shark, they're, they're fast, <laughs> much faster than we are. Plus, it's in their element. I see he's in there getting close shots and yeah, taking yeah. pictures. Yeah. You know, the dolphins are loving that sort of stuff, and you know, they're coming around. <laughs> coming here and Dolphin hams. Yeah. This morning, we're free diving. We're looking for wild dolphins as opposed to the tame ones, the captive ones, these are wild, these are truly wild animals, we're hoping to see them near the southern Red Sea. We'll see them coming up behind us, so let's go find them. You guys don't have on the uh, scuba gear. You just have it on the regular, just yeah, just snorkel. dive and yeah, snorkel. snorkel nice. Yeah, You know, because you know, I mean, that's another way um, the dolphins will approach you because there's no bubbles to frighten them off. Oh, okay. But again, they see so many divers, they 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 have no fear. But this is a good way because you can go down and swim with a pod. You know. So there must have been. It must be a lot of people on this ocean because I mean, you know. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a big ocean. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And recently they had a, um, two deaths. They were um, a shark had attacked people, but they got the shark. Hmm. That, that, that actually did it. See, that's the thing about sharks. You don't. You never know. That's that. That's. I guess that would be the scary part. You don't. They don't. Uh, well, any animal though really don't give you any warning. They just kind of. If they're having a bad day. They can yeah. pretty much do what they want. I guess. Yeah, well, again, you're in their element as well. Right. You know, they, they, you know, they can swim it's like real fast. It's like you're talking about with the, the elephant attacking that one trainer for, that's been training for 30 years. And yeah, it, oh, yeah. So it's just, you never know. Right. As long as you don't do something stupid with these, you know, you, you're fine. Uh, they have been known to attack people, but it's, it's very, very, very rare. It's some sort of... Um, good understanding between us and dolphins, I think, you know, yeah. they, they, uh, they're curious as all, you know. Right. 
And, uh, and they're probably smarter than us. Probably, <laughs> yeah. So there's such such thing as reincarnation. I think I'd like to come back as a dolphin. That would be kind of cool. I could stick my finger in your blowhole. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big hole on the top of your head. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> look, look, there's no <laughs> Yeah, It's pretty choppy. The, there's a lot of current. and uh, It was bumpy in the water, you know. Now this looks shallow, I thought. Yeah, it's about 10 to 15 feet or so. Okay. Now is this just a big, is that just a big reef there or what? Yeah. What, okay. Yeah. yeah. This is one, one of the only spots that's shallow like this. Um, and this is actually back in Hugada where we left. Okay. The first day we just went there and uh, just make sure, you know, everybody's good because these guys they check you out, make sure you can actually dive, take your equipment off from the water, put it back on. Right. As long as you can do that, then, you know, uh, you're good to go. Uh, like I said, they, they, they knew I was an instructor and uh, we were on an assignment, so said, yeah, you can do your own thing, so that's how we did. We went, did our own diving, we did. it was good. But they kept track of you and everything, so they knew yeah, well, they had two dive masters that one led the group and one followed behind, but um, we followed behind him, you know, because okay. they were comfortable with us doing that, um, you know, because of no experience. Um, nobody else could do that, but, you know, they let us do it, so it was pretty good. So how, how much footage did you get over in the, uh, the red, oh. red Sea? A lot? Oh, yeah, a lot, a lot. <clears throat> a lot, a lot. Yeah, I was watching some of the uh, the other footage. Of course, we can't show some of the stuff that some of the pranksters, the things that you guys did on the oh, on the boat. We won't be able to show that. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> you guys like to have your fun out there in the sea, or oh yeah, it's a blast. It, is. <laughs> it was um, yeah, it was, it was it was good diving. I really enjoyed it. So when you when you went into shore, what did, what did you do? Or didn't you go well, to shore? Well, you didn't. You stayed on the liverboard. Oh, okay. Yeah, for seven days. Like oh, I said, okay. we went down to Sudan, and we turned around and came back, and did a few more islands on the way back. And what, what approximately, what year, or was this about? Oh, ten years ago, I think. Okay. So how was the uh, the politics back then? Um better then than it is now. Yeah. Uh, although I really wouldn't uh, recommend anybody goes out Middle East right now, Egypt. It's, as you know, I mean, it's pretty volatile, you know. Right. Um, and the same goes for Afghanistan. I, I was there for over two and a half years, two years and eight months. And, um, you know, it, it's very hostile. Very, very hostile. Be so careful. Um, so worse, worse than dealing with sharks. Yes, at least you know, <laughs> you know, you know about sharks. But yeah. um, some of these people over there, they hate Americans. Uh, I'm an American with an accent. <laughs> <laughs> that makes you worse, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm a transplant. I originally, I came from Wales in Britain, and uh, come to the states. 20 years ago, so I've lost a lot of my accent. Yeah, right, so, right. Uh, but uh, I, I understand you now. Yeah, but, you uh, understand me. Yeah. Most people need an interpreter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, uh, <laughs> so I'm, um, consider myself American. I'm a citizen. You know, I've got a wife and a beautiful child, and uh, it, it's great. And this is the best country in the world here in the states, you know, regardless of. How bad people think we have it. This is a, an amazing country, and if you know, if you have any doubts about that, I recommend you visit some of these countries over there when you can't say anything without fear of going to jail or worse. Right. You know, at least we can say what we think here. You cannot do that over in the Muslim world. You know, it's very, very uh, different. 
That's probably why they say we're spoiled over here. So, yeah, we which are. we are. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. I agree. Yeah. We are we're very spoiled around here. Well, we can do things here, um, you know, that we're the envy of the world. You, you know, yeah. Th this is the best country in the world out of everywhere I've ever been. You know, I'm proud to to live here, and um, it's just fantastic. Y you can do so much here. Uh, where I came from in Britain, you can't. It's, you know, um, a lot of government bureaucracy, you know, the old boy club, whatever. Yeah. And Europe's the same, you know, but it's, it's rapidly changing because of all the Mideastern um, people moving to, to Europe, you know, to f escape the environment or the countries that what, what they live in. So is it hard to, do you lose uh, track of where things are when you? Sometimes, yeah, because yeah, especially when there's a current and uh, the dive masters actually do a good job. They try and keep everybody together, but like I said, you're going to get um, some stragglers and, um, you know, Mark and myself are very experienced divers, so they let us go on our own, which is great, you know. Yeah. We could do all the photography. It's like dolphins. Yeah, it's a part of dolphins now, and uh, that was fantastic. They, they they came around and they approached us, you know, and they sort of uh, hung out with us for a long time. And there were, I think, of 30 of them in one one of the pods. A lot of these Egyptians, they, they eat um, the needlefish, the long skinny things with the big yeah. pointy nose. Um, well, what kind of meat you got on that? Well... It's not bad, I mean, if you can eat enough of them, you know, but they do grow to about uh, two to three feet. Huh. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, some of the nighttime diving is phenomenal. Uh, there's, a, there's a thing, if you turn your lights off, you shake your hand in the water, it's called bioluminescence. It's, it's the little um, animals in the water that cause friction with your hands, or your hands cause friction in the water. Okay. And uh, so you'll, you'll see, like, Millions and millions of little stars in the water. You know, it's, it's hmm. quite, quite nice. What was that we just we just saw? Uh, that was a, a conch. Okay. Don't know what that is, but okay, I thought it looked like a, yeah. like uh, a shellfish it, or something. Yeah, it's a big shellfish. Okay. Yeah. And there's a spiny urchin over there. Black thing, nasty. I, uh, <laughs> I've had the pleasure of standing on one of those ones. Good. Oh, pain. Really? Yeah, really bad. I was in. Uh, was it like a jack something in you? Yeah, it's got a toxin in it, but it's you know it, it's uh, it can cause secondary infections. Um, you know, so you've got to deal with it as quick as you can. And believe it or not, the treatment for that is to pee on them. <laughs> okay, <laughs> kind of like it, the jellyfish, huh? Yeah, same thing. Yeah, you, you do pee on it. These are cleaning shrimps. Uh, they, you know, a few of those there. And what they do is uh, they actually clean the mouths of, of fish that normally they would eat them. Mm -hmm. but, ah, there's an interesting guy. It's called a lionfish. Very, very dangerous fish. Um, those beautiful little feathery looking uh, gills or whatever yeah, they are. Yeah, the, the little fins on them, yeah. they, they are um, loaded with um, toxin, hmm. very, very dangerous, they'll kill you. So, the so is that how they kill the fish, they're, they're predators too? or Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. if you try and pick one up, it's, it's got like a hypodermic needle and it, it just shoots wow. a, a venom into you and that's it. Now that one looks like it's sleeping or dead, yeah, what was that? Yeah, he's sleeping, yeah. That was just a... Little trigger fish. Okay. That looks kind of cool, everybody coming out there. You're just kind of pointing there. There's four of you. Yeah, there Whoa, were more, there, more, than, more than four. I, I was yeah. off on my own, doing my own thing. I don't like to swim. Was, you know, I mean, I like to go off and film things. And yeah. Stay out of the way. Don't you do the buddy system, though? You don't have the, the buddy system? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't, but you don't, <laughs> you don't stick by the head, I take it. <laughs> no, I, when I teach, I do. Yeah. But some of my assignments, I, uh, <laughs> 
You don't need a buddy. I don't need a buddy. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's always wise to have a buddy. Right. But sometimes, you know, I mean, um, you know. You're not too far away from everybody. No, though. I You're mean, it's something fairly I'm, close, right? Yeah. I'm always, that, that's the trouble, you know, because I'm a diving instructor. I'm always looking after other people subconsciously, you know, I mean, I'm always aware of, of other people. Right. And uh, that it's, one's moving its eyes. Yeah. This is um, early in the morning now before we start another dive. The sun's coming up. So everybody's getting ready to go off and do some diving. And again, it's it's in a desert environment, so at night when the sun goes down, oh my gosh. Cold. It's freezing. You wouldn't believe how cold it gets. Hmm. You know? And then as soon as the sun comes up like this, whoa, heat comes up. Dry heat. And they're off to another dive site right now. But very the, very the, cool sunrise. Yeah, but the depth around here is, is around about two to three thousand feet, straight off. Now, um, how far can you actually go down? Uh, safely to 130 feet. Okay. You wouldn't go beyond that. <laughs> safely, okay. With yeah. a buddy. With a buddy. <laughs> yeah. Now, what about the boats you take out there? Are they are they just equipped with all this? Oh yeah, yeah. These these boats are. are um, see, they get a lot of European, uh, German, and Italian people go there. It's like our Caribbean. Right. You know, we'd go to Mexico, Cayman Islands for, for America, but in Europe, you know, they go to the Red Sea, and it's so it's geared up for um, the European market, and they have very, very good quality stuff. You know, high standard of equipment. Uh, the food is phenomenal on these boats. Um, they really look after you, you know. And the one we were on, like I said, it was called the Sea Serpent. Uh, they were all um, Egyptians working on it, the crew. But, uh, you know, they, they were pretty good. They were, they were good to us. 